Hi, I'm Darth Microtransaction. Welcome to my Raid Shadow Legends Free to Play series, where the goal is simple. We play the game from a brand new account every day without spending any money until we can beat Dragon 25. Let's find out how long it takes and let's try to learn and get better along the way. You know, the problem with having just one shard is you just, you just end up staring at it because you're like, hey, it's only one shard. So it's not like, you know, I'm debating opening all my save shards, just one shard. And then it could, you know, it could be anything. I mean, there could be a, a Draco Morph, a Bad Elkazar could be in that chart. You know, it's it's just, it's the allure of it. Allure would be a pretty good pull now that I think about it. But but no, we, we have to wait for the 2X roast. I'll never live past the roasting I'll get in the comments. Well, ladies and gents, day 13 is among us. And with it, I believe we have some progress to be had because the clan boss was hit yesterday and we one keyed the last chest finally and those are straight trash maybe the next one Ooh, a rare book is actually very good normal adept chest attack percentage keepable and garbage all right let's see if we can one one key the clan boss again because last time we were able to but it was a favorable affinity i think it was green so We'll have to see here. I, you know, I, I, I'm gonna say I have faith. I'm gonna keep the faith. I think we got it. I'll fast forward. Well, we did even better this time. I mean, hey, it looks like we're gonna do over 1.5 million. That's pretty good, actually. So, ooh, we even got the Swift Perry proc. I do have a Swift Perry set on Banshee now. We got all the gear kind of figured out. Well, not all figured out. We still need some gear on some of the people. But uh, it, it's getting it's getting better. At least we kind of figured out what we wanted to do for people, at least for, uh, you know, most sets. I've got a shield set now on the guy who does reflect damage. Uh, Runic Warden, I think is his name. Maybe it's Runic Keeper. I forget. You know, there's a million of these dwarfs. Runic this, Keeper that. Runic Warder. I wasn't even right on any of them. And now let's see how we do on normal. Same team. And it gave me the, you need to equip artifacts message. So I'm pretty sure there's some people on this team that, that are missing artifacts still. Well, we entered danger, Will Robinson territory right around the one mil mark, it looks like. So not quite there. I feel a little sleepy this morning. I feel like I need a Red Bull or something to give me some wings. Isn't that funny that they actually got sued over that? That someone's like, I don't have wings now. This is our new defensive team in Arena, and we are still trying to battle because we've got to get into silver still for the missions and all that. Um, ooh, speaking of the missions, I think we're on the really annoying mission of get the attack percentage primary glove, right? Let's go look, actually. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you right here in missions. Yep. Win gauntlets with attack percentage as the primary stat from stage four of the sewers of Arnok on normal. Oh no, this is essentially the final boss for this video game. Oh my god. Finally. Dude, that took that took entirely too long. Okay, finally we've got that campaign mission done. There we go. And now clear stage one or higher of the ice golem pick three times. This is easy. It was pretty funny. Arkale literally just like one shot the boss. I mean, I thought the first stage was going to be easy, but I should have recorded it because it was just, I, you know, I thought it was going to take a second, but he just went like, whoop, and the boss just died. I mean, maybe it's going to happen again here. Look at this. Here, I'll leave it. I'll leave it running this time. Let's see how quickly these guys. Oh, okay. So he didn't get one shot this time. They got revived. Let's see. Kaz Cow gonna go staff to the sky and they all die again. Yeah, yeah, basically. Hey, there we go. Another mission down. And we get silver for that one. Four are the or four champions with six artifacts of either higher. See, that's something that should have probably already have been done, to be honest. Because that's what we were working on. Bang, that one's done. So in my free-to-play clan, it is actually a clan versus clan tournament right now and I could use these rewards. So I think I'm going to contribute because uh, our it's on the free to play and we actually need this stuff. So let's see here, let's go and figure out what we want to do with our books now. Obviously we have no legendary characters yet, but we can place a couple books. So let's go to, I think, 
It's either gonna be Frozen Banshee or it's gonna be Soul Bond, one or the other. I think Frozen Banshee is probably the more usable character long term. So I think probably gonna go with that. I just wanna make, before I do it, I just wanna make sure, because I know this guy here is kind of debating the reflect damage, which is for Fire Knight, but I think she's probably the more obvious choice because we really need that poison sensitivity cooldown. And then also the debuff chance basic. I mean, it's all good. So, okay, let's let's see how it goes. Oh, there we go, right into the correct one. 500 tournament points also. Plus five there, can we do another one? Ooh, 500 more tournament points, but it went to the wrong one. We got damage, okay. Okay, and now we got the buff chance on the basic. So the basic's still a pretty good one to have it on, but still we need, oh no, now it's splitting them up. See, this is what we're worried about. Well, we're pot committed now, boys. There we go. Okay, well, hopefully we got to get more rare books so we can finish this one off. But you'll see here, it has to have a poison sensitivity debuff, which is why we really need the, we need the cooldown. But maybe if we get in reflex or something from the ice golem, either way, we're gonna need more rare books, but we do have rare books coming up in the rewards. So it's not like that big of a deal, but we contributed some points and now we can claim these, see? There we go, a little bit more goodies. And now we can get the XP banner, XP banner, Ancient Shard. Ancient Shard would be a pretty big deal on the free to play account, to be honest. Something about the clan versus clan just makes people like go crazy wasting all their resources. So I'm pretty sure I figured out why it's in the game. That being said, go, go, go. It's the clan versus clan tournament. We gotta, we gotta beat everyone. Let's dump all our resources here and maybe we can win. We do need to open some more mystery shards though, to be honest. We've been sitting on them for a while. So let's see what we can get. Let's we'll skip through a little bit of this and a couple uncommons. We do sort of still need some rare. I'm trying to think what rares we can get from here. That would be a big deal. I guess rosin fusion rares would actually probably be a pretty big deal. Cause if we actually look at rosin, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we have six of the characters already. Oh baby. Everyone can rejoice. It is the Dark Elf Day, the day that we can actually make some progress here. I think we want to go with the speed and the father there just to eat a bullet or two. And maybe we can do, I mean, Kel is getting stronger. We still do have to finish Masteries and we have two five stars ready. So we need three more five stars in order to make Kel a six star. But after that, he should be able to carry most things. Nope. Oh. Yep, uh, we uh, absolutely got slaughtered, no problem. I should probably just edit out that failure real quick to make me look better. There we go, all our keys are used. We contributed some more Faction Wars points and we actually got a few little uh, speed glyphs out of it, not too bad. I don't think I can really do the lizard one yet. I have two epics that might actually be okay at it, but they're not built. Hey, we just finished up the weekly and got ourselves 500 more experience. Reset the weekly quest, which is pretty good, and a new Ancient Shard, nice. And as a clan, we've hit a new milestone. So we get another XP banner, hammers, Ancient Shard. Man, we're getting all kinds of Ancient Shards. Now, look at this. Now, our uh, our patience is actually starting to pay off. Look at this, three Ancient Shards saved. Kitty, stop attacking the microphone. I mean, look at this cat is, look at her. She's right here. And as a clan, we've hit a new milestone. So we get another XP banner, hammers, ancient shard. Man, we're getting all kinds of ancient shards. Now, look at this. Now our, uh, our patience is actually starting to pay off. Look at this, three ancient shards saved. Kitty, stop attacking the microphone. I mean, look at this cat is, look at her. She's right here. Another arena promotion as we're working on the next Arbiter mission. And there we go. I guess that was a challenge as well. And we get another XP banner. Nice. I guess I shouldn't have claimed that, to be honest. Upgrade any bonus in the Great Hall. Uh, and that will give us another rare book for the clan tournament. So I think we can actually do that now. What are we going to do? I'm looking down because my cat is biting my foot. Evil kitty. Let's go ahead and upgrade the accuracy. There we go. Claim. And now we get 50 energy and another book. And this is silver, so that one's partly done with. This is gonna be gems, nice. Big, tr wow, big truck going by my house. This is a small neighborhood. And I just realized I recorded all of that with the, the wrong camera on. But yeah, we uh, got promoted in Arena and got a bunch of stuff. And now we get another book, which is what you missed with the camera. Pow, here we go. Please go with the right one. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine. 
because the the chance is up which is good we have so two more in that one and then four more in that one so we need six more at least kitty stop it with the microphone good god you know what I realized is I could do these three and four star ones and use the some of these rarity charms because you get a lot of these things and we could potentially end up rolling like a, a four star, you know, epic speed boot or something, you know, it, like four star wouldn't be that bad if it's like a speed boot or we get like HP percent chest maybe or something like that. Helmet with speed would be nice. So I realized that it's not that bad and we actually have a good chance. Ooh, we got legendary. See like that, there we go. That's a four star with speed, HP, HP and attack. Okay, that's, that's a keeper right there. So let's keep going. Let's see what we can get here. HP percentage boots, okay. Those are usable because it is resilient set. Nah, that's how much not so good. We got one more chance here. And eh, okay, nothing too good there. Did we use up all our luck? Because I don't think we can really make anything. This would be four and five star reflection gear. Or deflection gear, I should say, not reflection. I guess it'd be kind of the same thing. Well, our patience is paying off. We've got three ancient shards saved so far, and we are actually contributing to this uh, clan versus clan. How's the points going? Let's see here. Let's look at the leaderboard. Where are we? Oh, that's the that leaderboard. We want to see us. Where are we? We are number 11. So we're almost in the top 10 for our clan. I, I need to be up here more. I need to be a little bit, you know, raising the banner for the troops. So I think what I'm going to do here is go with the dungeon. I'm going to go with the ice golem because I want to get reflex gear. Let's go with the void one. I want to keep going on here and see how far we can go. And I want to get reflex gear on people who matter, you know, like probably the guy. Well, I guess the reflect damage guy has an HP set shield on him, but reflex might be better so we could get that reflect damage up more often or even get soul bond and reflex maybe since swift parry is currently on frozen banshee i can't wait till we get more uh swift parry gear because we're only like one good swift parry pair off or like a swift parry speed boots or something like that off having like a really good set of that so now we can farm four star stuff that's a three star so we sell it but now we're at the point where we can farm you know uh, a four star in the ice golem which is good but you know, the, the the spot we're trying to get is five star. We we honestly need to be able to farm five star gear if we want to start actually putting energy into it. We do have a lot of energy saved because again, I haven't been playing every single day. I, but I do try to log in, at least pick up the logins and you know, the the uh, the end time. Man, why am I having so much of talking today? My God, spit it out, DM. All right, this is always the challenge. Stage seven, three to five star equipment which is pretty good but it's the wrong affinity okay it's actually going uh, surprisingly better than i thought it would but i'm always scared because the ice golem it can seem like you're doing good and then he just literally one shots your entire team so i'm always looking for that but to be honest i think we got it which is great okay there's a pretty good freezes but oh me he's got more oh he's got four freezes Ooh, okay no, no, we got it, we got it. Okay, see what I mean? Yeah, you get a little nervous there. But now we can actually start farming five-star reflex gear, which is really important. And I bet that if we can beat seven, we can probably beat eight. I mean, that's a big jump in level, 13 level. You know, that's like almost, a, what is that, 40% jump or something like that? But I'm willing to bet that we can actually beat this one since it's void. Looking pretty good so far. By the way, I wanna take this moment and plug my Twitch streams. I've been live streaming every single day again. Uh, yesterday we streamed like six hours. I did uh, like three hours of raid and then we did three hours of outdoor activities. You know, so many activities, yay memes. So if you wanna join me, twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. I should be live in just a couple hours after the posting of this video. Shout out to like the least used piece of gear in the world. If we can beat stage nine, I'm actually going to be feeling pretty good because that means it's a, we're strong against this affinity. We should be good and we should have a decent chance of getting five star gear. And I bet it's fairly safe on auto if we, if we can beat it, I bet so. Because it's what level 50 i mean we beat the level 40 right when it was void now we're sure strong affinity we should be able to beat 50 right you think i mean it's looking good already i would think right okay so there's the hit hit weak exactly we're good 
I would select the ice golem because I know it'd be better, but I want to make sure and see it, it would do it on the, the 30 multi battles that I get per day, being the free to play. See, that's the problem. We need, we need the cooldown of Frozen Banshee. We really need that book to be able to get the poisons up more as the prompt scene. And the other thing is now the, the ads are more tanky, so they take up more of our turns, and we're really relying on AoE to kind of take the big guy down. Okay, because now we only get a little bit of hits on him. See, now he pops off again. It's really down to Kel to kind of try to solo this. The weak hits, though, the weak hits are really saving us. Okay, so he should, yep, there we go. Now the reflect damage, nice. We only reflect like a thousand, though. The poison should get him. Okay, that looked, that looked pretty reliable to me, to be honest. And look at that, it's like got all percentage, four star, epic. I think that that's a keeper, just in our position. And I think that's probably about as far up as we can go. You know, ooh, the next one though is four and five star. Dude, no way, right? If we could beat this one, four and five star. But there's there's gotta be no way. I mean, that would be, that would be nuts. Okay, all right, well, let's try it. Because if we can farm only four and five star already on this account before we even have a six star, oh man, that would be pretty exciting. But what do you think? Leave a comment right now, because there's no way, right? There's no way. I, you know, I'm going to leave this run unedited, but we'll, we can just enjoy this together. We can all see, you know, dip, we'll play the Jeopardy music or something. Because there's no way, right? To be able to farm four and five star stuff already during an Ice Golem tournament on the free to play account. That'd be beautiful. You know what? It's probably the gear, because we have Kel's gear almost completely leveled. He has a speed set, and he has a lifesteal set. Lou is probably part of it, too, but the problem is Lou is not five-star yet, and her gear is still, like, somewhat questionable, if that's the polite word for it. So we're going to see here. Okay, we're keeping it together pretty well, though. The problem is... Now we're getting where accuracy is a problem. You see, he's resisting everything. So we're, we're not going to get the poisons, which is probably the, you know, that's the real problem. I don't think we're going to be able to beat it because a lot of our damage on the Ice Golem guy himself comes from... See, there we go. We got one poison. See, it's 2,700 just per poison. So that's a large percentage of it. Depends if we get frozen or not. Okay, see, now the auto is going to hit the side guys. Ooh, the healing reduction destroys us. There's no way. I mean, there's no way. That, that AoE would have had to kill both of those guys and give us a bonus turn. Yep, there's no way. The healing reduction is too strong. We need, uh, you know what we need? We need this character. I'm going to show you. We need her to be like four or five star. So that way she removes all the debuffs. She needs gear. She needs to be worked on. That's probably going to be in the next episode, though, because this one we made some pretty good progress, I think, already. Love y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Like if you want to help me out. And comment if you just want to say something to me.